I was uploading video and I heard this crash and I didn't know what it was. It sounded like plastic. <laughs> it is my plants. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Look at you. Okay. It's okay. I got plenty. This is a problem with really tall, big, long leaf with this one because look, it's almost like nearly as tall as me. But I watered it. Well, it was dry. That's the reason why it toppled over. And because it's front heavy, it's pulling the pot over to the front here. So I put some rocks at the back as well now. And that should be okay. She can go back where she was. This is my Sedevaria jet beads. That is just so, so, so slow. And one of my lovelies, Dawn Heard, thank you very much, said that hers, she just pulled off, it got sunburned, and she pulled off all the leaves and where it got sunburned. Okay, let's bring this inside. So this jet beads is about four years old at least because this is one of the earliest plant that I have and I paid $10 for it and it was a little bit shorter than how it is now but it hasn't grown. I've got a couple of okay this one's here it's just gone black and I think it's still alive but you can see the stem is almost dying but what I'm gonna do is just take that off look it's just all black I don't know if it's dead but there's some um, life on the tip of that one so this one now it's the same we just remove that and we're gonna chop 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 okay chop chop oops and that one too that one is actually rooting down there so probably it came from that side and it started rooting. Hang on, come here. Maybe I have to remove the old stem. I'll cut it off because it's already dead anyway. Take you off. It's just to hold down whatever cutting I think I did before. And this one now is just so big. Okay, chop you off. Now, if I remove some, especially now growing season for you. Okay. That's good enough. I'm going to cut it again because I just want to plant it short if it ever grows. And that's the bottom, that's the top. They would actually cling to the soil even if I plant it on the wrong end. I will know straight away eventually if it's the right one or not. But anyway, this one now that's just missing a lot of its teeth. So we might as well do a full extraction and just give it some dentures later on okay <laughs> so there you there you go i love this plant but there and oh that one's got roots look it's grow okay can you see the root okay there there you go see look only one fell off and it's lost some teeth as well as gaps got cavities from before probably so now that's nice and compact now I'll remove some more here here and there this is sedum stali that started from one leaf one leaf <laughs> I'd like to say one leaf wonder and it grew really fast okay so from one leaf now I've got a big cluster and I still have a couple of branches somewhere in the garden that I planted and grew but this one look it's translucent like a gemstones okay it's like a gemstone isn't it it's like a little agate jelly bead isn't that beautiful but anyway that's rotting now this one's doing the same thing it's growing but it's not as compact as I'd like it to be so now I'm gonna harvest them and start chopping them off to propagate so the, even this one here I'm gonna leave a couple of leaves on that one to just get, to get it going but we strip it Ooh, now there's more 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 oh okay look at that Hang on, what am I doing what am I doing okay I'm doing something wonderful so I'm just gonna 
cut it short or leave it long just in case it grew some babies because uh, right now it is winter in Australia the growing season of this Mexican uh, I forgot what it's called now there's another name for this one but anywho there you go my brain the name escapes me words escapes me lately I don't know why I swear it's still the COVID okay now see now that's nice and and this one too that's all long so this is not to make them look pretty this is to basically propagate and in the process if they look pretty that's just a bonus but if they they don't then oops that one's already rotted away so which means we might as well harvest the whole lot make new plants out of them and that one is a bit long so we uh, we leave it we leave it okay we take that one off and little compact one so hopefully some new ones will grow on the side and this one will do the same that's sort of long and gangly so we chop 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 oops I lost a leaf we should probably leave a couple but they all look so ugly that I really want to chop off everything <laughs> Now my stally eye <laughs> is looking very bare, so I think I'm going to stick a couple of these to fill it up. There you go. That way it will fill up much better. Just guiding it with a tweezer. So I have to do a stem. Where can I insert you? And I'm just going to give it some fertilizer. Just a little bit. There you go. We just spread it. So this is a combination of slow release. And it's about a teaspoon or half a tablespoon. That's fine. That's it. And also the jet beads on top. You can have some food. There you go. Now I'll put this one back here. There you go. You can stay there and grow, baby, grow. Here is another sedum. This is sedum robertinctum, normal one. And red berry. The small, compact. Cute, cute, cute. How cute is that? So this ones, I got this one from a tiny, tiny little cutting from someone. I can't remember now. I think it was Elkie where I got this one from. But it's just so small. Look at that. So, okay, compare the thumb. The biggest one is, look, much smaller than my thumb. That's because I've got... A huge thumb no I don't <laughs> standard thumb size now this one is uh, I got I think when I started with this one I'm I think Elkie said get more and I said no 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 that's fine that's fine because I don't want to wreck her beautiful uh, specimen that she's got but this is just absolutely delicious the color so I decided to put a couple of leaves to grow in this pot and this is now probably about a year old at least since I potted this up or since I've grown them and I got more leaf waste not want not just throw it in there so this one now the red berry oh my goodness it's just so delicious isn't it oh okay if you have kids around probably the kids will start picking it and say that is a berry well it is a berry but not the edible berry so now this one the Robert Tom is grown gangly so I really wanna chop 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 and hopefully they will grow new ones in there but this one I'm gonna put it aside because I want to propagate more of these little ones here. So I'm going to remove the big ones. So, and then, oops, just hope that they will grow new shoots because sometimes they do. And if they don't, that's short enough that you won't notice it. So this is just a little short video of propagating or taking cuttings. 
and leaves from sedum and sedivaria so that's all and hopefully in the future i can give you an update as to what happens with this one so i am almost tempted to plant my big ones on the side there but i'm going to leave it but while i'm at it since this is so compact and that big one there is sticking out like a sore thumb i want to continue i might as well chop 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 and dig up and plant oh and look at that that one is grown from a leaf anyway gorgeous plant beautiful plant i like miniature plants and while i'm in here i might as well clean up remove all the dead ones or dead leaves not dead ones well they are dead and give it some fertilizer And these ones will be planted somewhere else.